Hey, what's up everyone? Weenie here. As you all know, a 40 minute video of Starfield was leaked recently, posted by somebody who was accidentally sent their physical copy two weeks before Starfield was supposed to be released. This ultimately resulted in the removal of their video after ZeniMax copyright claimed the video. But what's quite strange is, despite Bethesda's confidence in uploading their own 45 minute Starfield gameplay video to YouTube, they sure did appear quite angered by this gentleman's upload. Surely it can't be any different to what Bethesda showcased in their video, right? Why delete it? What is there to hide? Now, according to my detective work, it appears the gameplay footage in the Starfield deep dive video was heavily staged and rendered to make it look better than it should appear. Even if it did look astonishingly trash by today's standards. It's without a doubt that the leaked gameplay footage entails a completely different version of Starfield than what we've been shown. It simply looks shit. With its awful drab grey tint, unusual facial expressions, reused animations from Fallout 4, it certainly does not live up to what a AAA title should be. Especially given that it's been in development now for 25 years. Not only does it look like shit, but the gameplay I saw and everybody saw was downright generic, floaty and pathetic. What I mean by that is the weapons just don't seem to have any real recoil or kinetic feedback whatsoever. I don't need to play the game to know this is the case. I don't want to be told that I haven't played it yet, you can't judge it, etc. No. I can see with my own two eyes that this game is a trash heap. It won't amount to anything. It's not worth playing for anyone with an actual working brain, unless modders can save it, which I doubt heavily. But I must warn you modders, it looks like Bethesda left a whole lot of work for you, and you won't be getting paid a cent for your efforts. So best get to work and start making something from nothing because I don't see anything of substance in this overhyped snooze fest of a game, if you can even call it that. So yeah, it turns out I was right from the beginning. Thousands of people saw the real gameplay footage that was leaked and they were not impressed in the slightest. Like I said in my previous video, Starfield will be another run of the mill, janky bug ridden mess that will not receive another update after launch and will be left for the modders to fix. Anyway, with this being said, Bethesda's decision to copyright claim the leaked footage, removing it from YouTube is just one sad attempt at covering their asses so no one catches on to how awful their game actually is. I've seen the footage myself and I must say I'm not surprised given Bethesda's track record, but to all those naysayers and haters in my comment section saying I was wrong, this is the part where you should be getting down on your knees and apologizing. Now, it baffles me at how dim-witted some people's perception can be. All wishful thinking and not an ounce of intelligence. All you have to do is open your eyes. Time and time again, Bethesda drops half-finished, bug-ridden games with awful storytelling and combat. I'd be exaggerating if I said the games were half-decent. Anyway, I don't have much more to say apart from just wake up to reality and start accepting the fact that some things are just too good to be true. A, a thousand fucking planets? Give me a break. I'm actually surprised Bethesda said 10% of these planets will have life at all. That's 100 planets with life forms on it. That's not necessarily planets that will have civilizations, towns, rich backstories or quest givers. So I'm not sure if anybody noticed that to begin with, but it could very well be that these 10% of planets will merely have microbial life forms such as bacteria, fungi and viruses and that's it. If they don't get too specific now, do they? I wouldn't get your hopes up. But if you enjoy procedurally generated open worlds with awful graphics and storytelling, then by all means, spend your hard earned money on this garbage. I tried warning everyone, it's only now people are realizing that Starfield is just overpriced trash. Anyway, that's my piece. See ya.